Good morning, Modern Steaders. We gotta get the rope on the chicken tractor fixed before we go to work this morning. Let's get to it. You ready, Pluto? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. You ready? Let's go. Do you know where we're going? Let's go. Nope, hey, wrong way. There you go. These chickens want to get moved to fresh grass. We gotta get this fixed. Cause my hands can't take that little rope anymore. You guys want to get on fresh grass? I don't blame you. Got a bigger rope than we had before. I'm gonna ream it out. We ended up going to tractor supply and the half inch diameter rope was the same price as the 3 8 So why wouldn't I buy a bigger rope? It's pretty in red too, look at that. The barred rocks are gonna grow so much faster now because we got this nice, pretty, burgundy rope. Right Pluto, isn't that pretty? Now kids, don't be playing with fire without your parents around. That just looks hot. Don't touch that on your skin. You'll know it for a few weeks. You'll leave a nice blister. Ouch. Ah. What did I tell you? Whew. Be careful guys, don't do that. Whew. But in all seriousness, there's a bunch of red in this pasture and the chickens are gonna love that. Let me show you. Look at those. Can you see them? Can you see that? Let me get these ones for you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all them wild strawberries. Look at the silly dog. What are you doing? You're all wet. Now you gotta stay in the basement. You're crazy. But look at all those wild strawberries. That is free food. Yep, I like it. Let's get getting these guys moving because we gotta get ready to go to work. They're finding those strawberries, you seen them? They're finding those strawberries and they're going to town, woohoo! We finally got kelp to feed to our livestock. We gotta make a feeder right now that we can put in New York City so our chicks can have free choice kelp and that's gonna supply them with vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and carbohydrates. So it'll make them a lot healthier which in return means it's gonna make us a lot healthier because what our chickens eat is what we end up eating. So it's gonna make a better meat bird, it's gonna make better eggs, it'll make better bacons and ham for us. I mean, who can complain about that? If you don't wanna eat seaweed, feed it to your animals, and that's how you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it through them. So that works for me. I'm just gonna use this old milk jug we had in the recycling bin. No need to recycle it, let's upcycle it. It's gonna get mounted on the back here. So I'm gonna just cut out, I'm gonna go with the natural line that's already here, and make a nice mark, do, 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 do. I'll cut that out. Would you just look at that? That was pretty simple and easy. We just got what our local feed store has to offer and they have Sea Life Organic Kelp Mail for Animals and it's from Maine. Woohoo! We're gonna give it to the chickens free choice because in all of our animals, because the animals know what they need. If they don't need it, they're not gonna eat it. If they need it, they're gonna eat a lot of it when they need it. And if they only need a little bit, they're only gonna eat a little bit. If they need minerals and vitamins, they're gonna be eating this stuff. If they don't, they'll leave it alone. So that's why we do it free choice. So when it comes to feeding kelp to my animals, I'll tell you what, I am a newbie at this. I've never done it, I've heard about it. So let's check it out. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like the ocean. Hopefully the chickens like that. Let me get a scoop out and we'll show you what it looks like.
Yep, it smells like the ocean. What do you think, Pluto? You like the smell of it? You like the smell of it? Hmm. Does it smell like the ocean? Yeah, not so much. You want some? Go for it. Pluto don't like it. You want to come out? Come on. Oh, what's that a big pile of? That right there is the start to our outdoor kitchen. Woohoo! All right, we got, we're in New York City. Let's find a good place to mount this. Just gonna add in the cow. Yep, it smells like the ocean in New York City. I wonder if the girls will like it. You girls like it? They don't know. Time will tell. We'll have to come back and check tomorrow and see how much they've eaten. You guys want me to let you back in? For one more thing in this video before we gotta get ready, we're going to a friend's house for dinner tonight. We're gonna surprise Gina with this one little thing. Let's do it. Gina's gonna be so happy when she comes home tonight. Yeah. I don't get people. It's a private road. There's only like five of us who live on it. Why would you do this? by the Bard Rock meat birds. Let's move them. They're gonna want some fresh, wild strawberries, I bet ya. I would. You guys want some new fresh strawberries? Go foraging. Ready? <laughs> Gotta hit a rock. Now they're searching and foraging for whatever they can find. Look at them. Just look how happy and content those birds are. Why would you not want to raise your birds on pasture? They love it. The happier the bird is, the better the meat's gonna be, the better the eggs. Think about it, if you're all stressed out, 
you can just feel that pumping through your veins, your blood, and it, you don't feel good. You get sick. So what do you think happens to our animals when they're all stressed out versus this kind of life? They're getting fresh greens and fresh strawberries and bugs, whatever else. They love it. So in return, we're going to get what they're eating into us with their meat. And then think about this, the bone broth. How great is that gonna be? Grandma wasn't wrong when she said chicken soup for the soul, or if you're sick, have chicken soup. That's all true. So how much better is this bone broth gonna be versus store-bought organic, or just store-bought any broth? And these guys get to do this twice a day. I bet you they look forward to it, and look. Look at that. Look how much they've ate. Look how thick the grass is. Look, and that's what it looks like. It, Hasn't even been 12 hours. That's awesome. Let's check on the water. Let's top that off. Go get it. We leave it over here. When it's full. Look at all those strawberries. Look at that. All right, we can't just keep giving all these strawberries to our chickens. Let's try one. We'll take the biggest one for us. Oh my goodness. Wow. That has got some awesome flavor to it, guys. Sorry, I was a little close up there. Those are some good strawberries. Sweet, juicy. Mm. Yep. That's like the best strawberry I've ever had. Mm. Good stuff. I can't get over how many wild strawberries there are in this area. I don't know if you guys can see it that good, but... It's just loaded. I mean, there's just so many. I can only pick so many right now. I gotta get going. Let's give these to the T-Rexes. <laughs> Who wants some? <laughs> this guy knows what I got. He weren't messing around. I dropped some over here. He knows what I got. Ouch! He wants the good stuff. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! You like the good stuff. I wish I could mark you and know if your meat tastes any better. We got one more handful. Ready? Ready for it? Oh yeah! That's a good chicken! I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little bit all over the place, but I think here at Lumna Acres, we're always a little all over the place. We've got so much fun stuff going on. I don't know what to show you, and I don't know what to do. I just see something, I'm like, wild strawberries. My chickens are gonna love it. We gotta try it. And then, look at all that gravel we got. Yep, we're gonna have fun. So that's gonna be our next building series project is our outdoor kitchen. I'm so excited for it. Gina's pumped for it. We've been collecting stuff for this. We got some rough sawn lumber. We got some big posts. We got some roof trusses we collected last year. We got an old wood fired kitchen stove we're gonna put in the outdoor kitchen. This is gonna be fun. We're hoping to have hand hewn farm here in October. So our big push is to have this done for them and for our canning season. It's just gonna be great. So if you guys don't wanna miss out on that series, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share the videos, it's really been helping guys and that's all because of you. Our channel has been growing so fast lately. Just wanted to say thank you again for that. We're on Instagram and Facebook, Lumna Acres on both of those. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. I gotta go meet Gina and Olivia for dinner. Let's say hi to Sophia. We'll see you for dinner, Sophia. Bye.